Hey guys, Chris here from My Fine EMS Training. Wanted to go over real quick uh, the print transmit feature on the LifePack 35. Get this question pretty regularly, but today the question I have for you is to printer or not to printer? That is the question. And the next couple of minutes we go over this, I want you all to remember it's 2024. The LifePack 35 has built into it the transmit feature. It's very fast and easy. You hit transmit, you can pre-populate the endpoints you want it to go to, whether it's a hospital, whether it's your unit's iPad, which we'll hit on here in a bit. The other thing you can quickly do is go over to the dropdown and select which one you want to transmit. So it doesn't require a bunch of steps like other monitors out there. You can easily go in, pick the one you want, hit transmit, send to the location you're going to. I understand we all love our paper. Uh, just the other day, we had a patient, we did a right side posterior, and we did a repeat 12 and posterior. So we had five pieces of 12 lead paper that we had to keep a hold of, one of which decided to migrate its way to the floor and got all nasty. So we took our novel of paper into the hospital. Now, we had already transmitted though. So the caveat being they'd already seen what we were bringing in, but because we don't like change or things staying the same, we decided to bring in our 72 trees worth of EKGs. I want to talk about what you can do with the transmit feature and the 12 lead sharing so you get better uptake of imagery and it all happens with that tablet. So I'm pretty sure you have a tablet on your unit, most iPads, right? EPCR much? If you don't have a tablet on your computer, again, see slide one, it's 2024. If you do, I want to show you what it looks like when you transmit from the 35 though. So this is if the tablet was locked, you got a message saying, hey, you got to transmit, it's real quick, come over, find the patient. Go to monitor, pick the PDF image right there, and it brings it up. Look how high res this is, and look how fast that was. That was very fast. That's a local transmit. So that's, you're in the unit, you're on the scene adjacent to your device. That is very quick. So not only do you get the high res 12 lead, in this instance, I also wanted to show you, here's what a 15 lead printout looks like. So if you're using those auxiliary leads and you label them seven, eight, nine, so you're getting that posterior aspect, here you go. Plus on the STJ Insight, it now drops the posterior from down here on the 12 over because it has signal uptake in the posterior aspect. So it's not just giving you what would be opposite of it in the anterior area. It bumps it over and shows you, hey, I actually have signal uptake, so now I'm now part of the game. Look how crisp this is. So remember, this is, in this instance, this was on an iPad. You could zoom in, zoom out, just like you can any image file. Here's the example of the high-res STJ Insight graph at the bottom. Look how crisp this is in comparison to a thermal printer, right? A thermal printer in the back of your bag. We're always asking for things to be lighter, thinner, smoother. It is 2024. You have a tablet on your rig. It is very easy now to just transmit over super quick, super reliable. And you have it right there. And then you can send it off. You can take a screenshot. You can annotate it if you want. You can zoom in, zoom out. So that's the LifePack 35 transmit feature over to a tablet. And I just wanted people to see what it looks like if you don't utilize the printer function and how seamless it is and how crisp it is in terms of good diagnostic quality and clinical assessment. So as always, if you have any questions, hit us up at info at lifelineemstraining.com and we hope you have a great day.